Critics have praised Billie Eilish's hotly anticipated second album Happier Than Ever for its unflinching portrayal of life as a teenage pop megastar. The follow-up to her 2019 debut When We All Fall Asleep, Where Do We Go, it addresses the pressures of fame, as well as weighty issues facing young women, including sexual coercion. Reviewers said the record is defiant despite its muted tone. The Guardian's Alexis Petridis gave the universally great album four stars. He said that on perhaps the most anticipated album of 2021, Eilish uses subdued yet powerful songwriting to consider how fame has seeped into every corner of her life. Listening to a pop star complaining about being a pop star is usually enervating. It says something about Eilish still as a songwriter that, in her hands, the topic feels genuinely affecting. This is partly, he wrote, because despite her stratospheric success, Eilish continues to express her fears with relatable intimacy as pop's anti-hero. The album's title track sees her wonder if her dates have read her personal revelations made in interviews. My future dissects the stress of personal relationships versus career progress, while your power and getting older both deal with unwanted sexual attention and consent for a Me Too generation demanding accountability. At times however, Petri dis felt this authenticity removes her from the everyday experience of her fans, there's not much point in pretending you're still just like them when you've sold millions," sung a Bond theme and appeared on the cover of Vogue dressed in a custom-made Gucci corset. In a lengthy Instagram post sharing the album artwork, Eilish said she grew so much in the process of making this album and experienced so much self-realization and self-reflection. Musically, her trademark whispered vocal tones remain, but the album, produced in lockdown with her brother and collaborator Phineas, contains lots of clever production touches. Despite being less obviously ear grabbing and immediate than its predecessor. The fact that it's a lower key album than her debut shouldn't distract from Happier Than Ever's quality, Petridis concludes. Similarly, The Telegraph's Neil McCormick gave a four star review, noting that the record contains surprising musical twists and glittering barbs of lyrical empowerment. He said shimmering harmonies combine to take the listener on an emotional journey that ultimately casts optimistic light on a long dark night of Billy's tortured soul. However, the subdued tone has divided some critics and fans, underwhelmed by the lack of bombastic, radio-friendly singles. In a five-star review of the new album, NME Zell Hunt wrote, Happier Than Ever fully establishes Billy Eilish as one of her generation's most significant pop artists, and, better still, does so without repeating a single trick from the debut that turned her life upside down. But the line of Best Fits review saw writer Matthew Kent lament a lack of daring. The tempo never quite reaches fever pitch, instead Eilish's content with the tranquility of tried and tested methods, he said, giving the album 6 out of 10. The Times' Will Hodgkinson also mentioned there are no collaborations, no Elton John's popping up for guest spots, just Billy and Finney is making one subdued, minimal song after another. But his four-star review finishes by recognizing happier than ever hits home because it has a core of authenticity and a dreamlike mood that intoxicates. Given how easily Eilish could have been blown off course by now, that alone is an achievement. Thank you for watching. Please, subscribe.